we were small, right? A lot of y'all must have experienced this. When we would be fasting, people would be shocked, like not even water, right? That was what we would all be asked, not even water, right? We, we It was something shocking. And now then this whole, uh, you know, awareness came about the health benefits of intermittent fasting. But what I want to mention is that, you know, when we have been given the sunnah and the knowledge and the wisdom by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala about the benefits of our fasting, we should be doing that, right? So because the intermittent fasting, um, we know that when the uh, you know a, a sahaba radiallahu came and asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what how do fast what what is the best way he said you know the best of the fast is the fast of the Dawood alayhi salam, which is every alternate day, right? That is like the like the maximum that we can fast. Otherwise, we can fast the Monday, Thursday, and you know, 13, 14, 15. But when you see when you do the intermittent fasting, you see that you know these fasts are there for years or months or days, right? And that is not how we should be fasting. We shouldn't be depriving of our body of food for, you know, like 18, 20 hours for days on end, right? Like, uh, and this also like completely messes, messes up our circadian rhythm, right? Like you are, they say that they're fasting, but you see that they stop eating at, you know, six or seven, and then they start eating again at six or seven in the morning, which is, technically not fasting or if they you know go on fasting till four they still keep drinking water green tea black tea and coffee and things like that but as you can see, like what i mentioned is when you want to detoxify and you repair your body you don't want to keep putting in things because your body then is still secreting the enzymes and the hormones and it's still doing the digestion if you want the maximum benefits of fasting it is by the Sunnah way of fasting, that is, which is then again called as dry fasting in modern science. And they have found that this is what actually gives you the most benefit, the dry fasting, where you completely refrain from food and water for, you know, certain hours, inshallah.